Welcome back. Dave Thompson has had a need for speed for as long as he can remember. And his ability to build motors that go fast recently earned him a spot in the Nebraska Auto Racing Hall of Fame. And our Lance Schwartz joins us now to tell us about the man and his motors. Lance? All right. Thanks, guys. Most car racing fans instantly recognize the name Big Daddy Don Garlitz. Garlitz is a legendary driver who just happened to join the 200 mile per hour club by using an engine built by one of the most respected people in car racing, Lincoln's own Dave Thompson. Well, I needed to overhaul a, a Ford. I was probably 17 or 18 years old. So my dad showed me how to take it apart, so far, and I so took good. it apart, and I said, is this all there is in here? I thought, hey, I can do this. And Dave Thompson proved time and time again that not only could he do it, he could do it better than most anyone else. Our first try was the Hayseed Special. Uh, we took to the 1961 National Championship drag races for its outing and won our class. We were the national champions. Dave and his partner from Pilger. And we built the car in the hog shed in his farm. That's why it's called the Hayseed Special and we've retained that name to this day. I'm known as the Hayseed. Well, the Hayseed is a 1952 graduate of Aurora High School who came a long way from his humble beginnings in a hog shed. Anybody that could get a car to go to Bonneville and set a record, that was a big deal. Dave experienced that record-setting feeling nearly 30 times at the famed Bonneville Salt Flats in Utah. We raced the Golden Rod, and that got us into Bonneville. And that got us to be known to Don Garlitz. In 1988, Big Daddy Don met the flathead guy from Lincoln that could propel him into the 200-mile-an-hour club. That was me, thank you very much. <laughs> Pressure? No. Dave got his love of racing so, from his father. And I was racing with my dad. And he passed that passion along to the next generation of Thompsons. I think Donnie Kerr put that on there 30 years ago. Dave saw his son Tim join the 200 mile an hour club in a car at Bonneville, as well as. Oh, watching him go 200 miles an hour and a quarter mile in a motorcycle. Tim is mightily proud of his father's accomplishments as well. My dad has built the world's fastest flathead many times over the years. Once you discover that you can do it, I think it is kind of neat that a hayseed out of Lincoln, Nebraska can go out in the, the nation and race with the best of them and win a few. 53 years of racing and this retired geologist just can't seem to give it up. In fact, Hayseed Thompson plans on heading west to Utah next year to help his grandson, the fourth generation of Thompson racers, set some new land speed records at Bonneville. And Dave is now 78 years old, but just three years ago at the age of 75, he was still racing. Unfortunately, arthritis makes it a little tougher to get in and out of the car, but you gotta believe this guy still likes going fast. You know, some people have a passion for their uh, love and he's, he's got it, that's clear to see. Did he teach you anything about engines, Lance? Did you uh, come away with anything there? Well, he taught me a lot about going fast and <laughs> I did actually- Did you get to go for a yeah. ride? I did. Did you go 200? I went less than 200. Oh, we don't want Lincoln police pulling <laughs> yeah. you over, huh? Believe it or not, he says even throughout yeah. the years, he really didn't get that many uh, uh, speeding tickets. Well, they, they couldn't catch him. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> we'll update your forecast next.